the hottest podcast on the internet. All raw opinions. Welcome back to these nuts. Damn, Welcome son. back. <laughs> what is up, Casey? Were you gonna take that? We <laughs> got you. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What What's is up? going on? And we were still doing mic check. Okay, now I'm ready. <laughs> Nobody's ready. Fuck it. This is real life. What's pop? What's popping? Nothing is popping. Man, a lot's been popping. You guys got engaged <laughs> on the last fucking Show. episode. Oh my god, dude, that shit. That shit fucking surprised me. Hey, what a way to surprise somebody, dude. That was awesome, man. Well, how, do you, how do you feel? I'm how, still. You know what? It's still. I'm still in shock. Are you wearing it? Yeah, where's sure. the ring? Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. Let me make sure. Well, yeah, you got to make sure. Like, what the fuck? Well, he says, why don't you wear it in the house? I'm all, because I clean, I'm doing stuff, I'm laundry, and I don't want anything to all get of a sudden, she, All of a sudden, she cleans. <laughs> oh, she's the wife. Are you she, gonna... she has a ring. She cleans Excuse now. Excuse me. You're going to tell me I don't clean. <laughs> yes, you do. Get the hell out of here. Hey, one, one thing she started doing is picking up my socks. Okay. Oh, she got the ring, so now she's wow, the yeah, socks. My socks get picked up now. Mm-hmm. Okay, the so- the socks have been picked up, people. That's awesome. Okay, but well, congratulations to you guys, man. Thank you. It it was I'm a happy. shocker, and he threw you and I for a loop. Yeah, I mean, supposedly you didn't know. Look, no, I didn't know, but it seemed like I did to you, but yes. I did not know. Okay, I you didn't know. Yeah, I thought he was. I knew he was gonna say something, but I didn't think it was gonna be that. So he well, because me. you turned around, and you said. Yeah. Man of, what did you say? The man of um, speaking of men um, of their of the word. word. Yeah, because he's a man of his word all the time. I just feel like he was oh. giving props. I don't know. So I know, but he was <laughs> you boy. threw us for a loop. Yeah. But anywho. anyways, you guys are engaged. Yeah, I can't wait till the fucking wedding and the party and all that shit. Because like I said, Zap and Roger, here we come, baby. Uh, uh, Queen Chola and King Cholo, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Anyways, moving wah, on wah, along. Wah. <laughs> <laughs> on current events what do you guys think of the whole diddy and the whole that thing shit's that still got... going on what a mess what a mess Jeez, people are scared out there yes and you know what 50 cent is he's fucking hilarious dude 50 cent is 50... the Talkie he's a bully shit. he's a ch- what they on internet online they call him trolls right yeah man he is a bully but here's the thing uh one of those guys called him out to fight and I, I think 50 Cent could whip some ass, well, bro. Because he called that guy out saying he was, he's yeah, what been was there. What was his name again? Um, I forgot. But Wait, anyways, well I don't think, I don't, honestly, look, I mean, I don't know 50 Cent, but I don't think he's a chump. And I see no. him box, like the, he used no, to do the not. boxing and all that. I don't think you want to challenge that guy, man. Especially at the ages they're at now, like the older, I, they're probably two old dudes now fighting, but he's probably got skills. Like Tyson. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he still probably still has some oh, yeah. skills, man. 50, 50 could back up his shit. Yeah, you don't want to fuck with 50, dude. I don't think so. He probably knocked the what shit out. He knows he was, was it not- Stevie J? Because he, yeah. 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 he said yeah. Yeah. Stevie, yeah. Stevie J's fight offer with more trolling. Stevie J took to Instagram last week yeah. to call 50 Cent a carpet over the jabs. So they to were the saying the jabs. Stevie, J, Stevie J challenged 50 Cent, and then, he's, and then uh, the oh, other guy- Oh, 50's going to fuck him up. But the other guy wants to fight Eminem. Um Who's the other guy that the, the battle they just had? Why are we forgetting names right now? Are oh, we that old? That older dude. Yeah. Uh, Anyways, but they said that they want to be the undercard. No, because you know what? The Tyson fight. Stevie J and whatever the other dude's trying to fight Eminem, they're broke. So how yeah. do you get more money? Yeah. Go fight somebody famous. Yeah. yeah. But you know what? There's no chance Stevie J is going to even. I mean, 50 is going to fuck him up. I mean, he's in good up. shape for, the, for their ages, bro. I mean, yeah, for their ages. They're like yeah. pushing 50. Or. <laughs> Or put your name in the hat in the in the in the you know on the table because something's hot. So now someone's going to talk about you. Yeah, you but know you know I mean? you know what what I what I see crazy is as soon as they raided his houses, mm-hmm. people started coming out of the woodworks. Like for example, J Lo. I love J Lo. You guys can call her J Ho, whatever. But <laughs> I, she started coming out how she was being abused in her relationship and all of these things and you know things that he did and he raped her. Whatever she said, right. right. Because anybody that was a part of any of those crazy days, because supposedly he has videos of all that but shit. But he must have signed an NDA. So everybody, and- got, everybody got a lawyer. Right. And it's like, yeah. what do I need to do to protect myself? Right. Do I need to come out first yeah. and say, hey, right. this happened to me. This is why he's doing this. Da, da, da. Like, everyone's all, lawyering up. My all-time fucking question, dude, that I don't under, I still will never understand the, I don't care to my grave, I don't understand all these dudes with all this money that can get any freaking chick they want that they go and do this type of shit. You know why? They fuck off their money, bro. They get bored. I guess. They're I don't, so rich, they get whatever they want, so now they get freaky. <laughs> 
So who was it? Who was you know it? What I mean? Was it Usher that lived with them since he was thirteen or fourteen? Was it Usher? Yeah, there yeah. was something going on like that. And Bieber and all yeah. like. He groomed all these fools. Who knows what he did? It's crazy. And his sons were, I guess, supposedly two of his sons got arrested while he was, well, while they were, were not like, arrested, detained, detained. I apologize. Detained, yeah. detained while they were um, raiding his homes. Like, and then he, he got a private jet and he left with his daughters or whoever well, no, he no. left with. A private jet left. He wasn't on it. It was, but, there was, but they're saying what was on that jet that went to an island or whatever. An island that you Jay-Z can't. Jay-Z owns that, that island. You, you can't um, go after somebody once they're on that island. Say you kill somebody, you go to that island, the United States can't go get you. Yeah, they're, because it's they're a They're trying private, to bring Jay-Z to this island. island. You know that, right? No, no. So what they're saying is he, all his computers and all that shit was on that plane, went to this right. island. Now the U.S. government, anybody cannot go to that island and grab that is shit. It, is it? Is it because it's a private island and it's privately it's, owned? It's no, uh, no extradition. Uh, There's certain like countries, states, whatever, right. not states, countries, and that's not part of the U.S. Oh, that he owes fucking Jay Z a lot of fucking motherfucking favors his. or some blowjobs because <laughs> some shit. Well, Jay Z's <laughs> about to get thrown into this shit too now. Then Beyonce is gonna end up leaving, and she's gonna come look for me and shit. Fuck, I'm always cleaning up people's is messes. She, is she looking for you, really? <laughs> Well, it's That's crazy. Why, don't be a freak. Hey, man. This shit is crazy because this is going towards even worse than R. Kelly. Worse than fucking R. Kelly, to yeah, be honest with you. No, it's closer to the it's other Ep- dude. Uh, Epstein, Epstein shit. shit. Yeah. Some yeah. weird shit. There's politicians, higher up people of companies that have been to these parties, supposedly are on videos. Yeah. He's lost a lot. His music, everything. People, um, uh, sponsors are are backing out. They're even fifty. Somebody's offering fifty. The the contract that Diddy had. Ciroc. 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 Yeah, I'm yeah. like, what the fuck? It's crazy. But anywho, yeah, that's know, that's man. for your current events. All I know, if I ever win the lottery and make that much money, I'm not fucking that off like that. I'm just going to get one bad woman <laughs> and keep her. And that's I don't want to be that rich, bitch. <laughs> I know. Fucking, no. and, and you know go what? to jail even, for some freaky even if, shit. Even if me and, and Casey had a little more money or whatever, we just want to be humble and just be together like yeah. that's that's all no we freaky want. shit for you guys no freaky uh, in the bedroom no. but that's it yeah. <laughs> a corazón. Look at corazón. anyways anywho yeah that's crazy shit man. anywho getting on to different um um subjects here let's talk you? about some some new news yeah do you want to you want to tell the to want to do you want to tell everybody kc what's going on with with our friend over here somebody's moving out i'm of- over Moving, I'm moving on, moving up, out of, of and of, moving on of, up, of, I'm some moving. bougie places. <laughs> I'm moving. So let me let everybody know, Mr. Bachelor Rollo, <laughs> Rollo MC, has been living the bachelor life in this bougie ass complex, which he became the mayor of. Which is very nice, very bougie, <laughs> very motherfucking very bougie. bougie. I'm surprised they didn't have concierge. I will always love Aliso Viejo. There, it'll always be something in my heart. I'm gonna go back there one day, but oh, we decided. To, I, I decided to venture. 15 minutes out of Aliso Viejo. So you're closer to us. You're closer to I'll the hood closer over to here. You guys. Yeah, I'm closer. You're closer over. to the hood yeah, on the west yeah. side. So, yeah. So I'm, I'm Mr. Rollo happy. decided to move in with a friend of his. Yeah, I decided and to. And become uh, a bachelor house. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh. Hey, man, I just see the fucking um, stripper poles everywhere. But anyway. <laughs> so. We're going to have some fun, man. It'll be a good time. No, main thing, man, this rent shit's crazy right now, man. Like, I'm just trying yes. to save some money right now. You know, technically, I could afford that rent that yeah. they want to spike it but why dude for for that like yes it ain't that serious man and you know you you find somebody that's like cool you know what they're they travel responsible off of work. Yeah, responsible like let's mature let's yeah save some money man and, and so let's talk about let's talk about isn't it the worst getting the the worst yes like roommate roommate talk to share about that a, that's the thing though because wait, i'm wait, not a wait. roommate person let me just put that out there. And either is my soon to be roommate either. We're both mature adults, man. We don't do roommate shit. But hey, didn't the but, last time you had a roommate, but, you ended up suing his ass? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm still and he stole from you. And, and he stole you won. from you. And you won. And you won. And I won. So you know what's Rollo funny though? went to court. I've never been the type of guy to go to court and do all that you shit. You should have been on like people's court or something. Bro, they shit. asked us to be on people's court. Uh, I, Judge I Judy? Swear to God, they that asked shit would have been funny. Oh. No, and I said, okay. But they asked, so they they call you. So this is what happens. When you when you sue somebody, again, I don't sue anybody. I don't do that shit. I would rather, I did give them the option to well, you, do the option, street. I'm going to fuck you up or pay me. 
I'm gonna let you and say it because I don't want to say I'll it. I'll take you to court. Yeah. Then you took him to court because he he, he opted out. So that's yeah. fine. I was like, hey man, do what you got to do. You know, whatever. And this is a long time ago. I already forgot about it. You got your money and you're good. Yeah, but I don't do that. So anyways, when when you take someone to court and you sue them like small claim shit, you know, um, they call small you. Small claims. Yeah, they call you and say, uh, would, would you would you want to go on uh, people's court? You know, and so basically, if you lose, they still pay for you. They pay for you. So I thought, well, he'll You're do win, it. win. I, I go, I'm going to, yeah, yeah, it's a win-win. That's cool with me because, you know, and I'm figuring, you know, at the end of the day, I just wanted the dude to fucking give me my money, man. And if, yeah. he, and if he gets paid for, fine, you know? So I said, you know what? I doubt he's going to do it, but go ahead, call him. So they called him and he just, he said he didn't want to do it. And I was like, yeah, because you know you're in the wrong. And you would have been stupid right, right, cool. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did he steal? I, I mean, let's talk about this. Did he steal? Did he steal like a TV or say that TV's mine? Did no, he, he didn't. No, he didn't steal nothing. He just tried. Oh, okay. to, he just tried to be. He just tried to be shady. That shady and not pay the rent and move this fucking girl in the house and shit with two, a dog and a cat. Ladies and gentlemen, your boy is got oh, some shit. Oh, that's right. Didn't got, she say? Oh, she's staying for just a day. Yeah. And she ended up staying for like a he week or two. He drove her from fucking Texas to move in <gasps> the house, dude. It's because so, he wanted some of that and he never got it. No, he did. She was playing shit. his ass. She was playing his ass. You know what? Look, man, I I ain't trying to. I remember that. I dude, I ain't trying to make fun of the guy, man. I'm glad it it got smoothed over, but at the same time, dude, don't so, don't do people wrong like that. No, so people don't move in unless you know someone is responsible yeah. and is is a, has like a a career and is a career right. person and you know that they're going to pay on time and yeah. not someone that just wants well, they, to sit around. They and probably want to know around. what happened. So let me finish the story. So why yeah. don't you fucking finish? So we You're go to just court. Just kind of taking a long we time. We go to court. Because everybody loves my stories, right? Come on. Put in the oh, comments. You Lord. love Rollo's stories, So baby. ladies that are single, Rollo got to... T- Actually, Rollo got two bedrooms. <laughs> one for the shank shank and one to You're sleep. Don't so t- <laughs> tell the story. So you go to court, whatever, and I got there super early in the morning, bro. I even told my job, like, man, this is- I felt dumb because I don't, I don't want to handle it like this. You know, I just want to get my money and that's it. I don't do this shit. But anyways, got there early in the morning and... They call you. They go, hey, you know, so-and-so versus so-and-so. And And I look around. Homie didn't show up. And I'm like, so what does this mean? You know? Man, so the judge is like, so where's the other guy? I go, I don't know. I go, look, I just want the money he owes me. She's like, well. And and she asked me what happened. And I said, well, this is what happened. And he moved in these other people. She's like, damn. Well, he must not really give a shit since he's not here. So I'm going to give you the max. Boom. (gasps) Boom. Boom. Bro, I got like. Way more money than I asked for. I just wanted like it was like well, I think a month's worth of rent. Well, that judge is <laughs> wow. like, you know what? He's wasting I, my time. Yeah, you're gonna get the max. Yeah, man. So this fool. <laughs> hey, hopefully it's a lesson for him. It was a lesson for me. It's all. I don't actually. I'm not saying I forgive him, but I forget because I don't forgive shit. I'm I'm a Leo. I'm petty. Yeah. You know. I, and I it was somebody I knew. It was something you knew. Everybody for knew. a long time. Yeah. But. Fuck Everybody him, knew. I didn't think he would have done that, but hey, you never him. know, man. But hey, shit, shit's shady out there, man. But hopefully, this next time around, my new roommate, which even he doesn't do roommates, but we're he's a responsible guy, right? So hopefully, a better better experience, you know. And like I said, man, I'm just trying to save some money till I find my queen, and then then I move out and we we get a house and live happily. Yeah, you're ever still after. young. It's if not you like don't, you know, hey, you got a two bedroom house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. I got, right now you hey, got two bedrooms. Yeah, so I do. I got I got my rooms. But well, that's good. Well, congratulations on the on the new little it. journey and move that you did. Yeah, are you gonna do a housewarming or what? Of course, and I'm hoping to have my uh, daughter's uh, baby shower there. Oh, oh nice. Big, we got a big backyard and shit. Nice. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Oh, good. I'm pretty excited, man. I'm pretty excited. You know, it's like I said, saving some money. So you're gonna host it? Up. Of course. Oh my god, you just gave well, me the chills, Grandpa. Actually. If my sister's watching this, she'd probably be like, mm-hmm. she, my older sister's going to help. Oh, well, of course. Yeah, she's, throw, she's pretty much going to throw it for her, but we're going to use my So house. <laughs> can I say this out loud? Because I think this is really hilarious. You're living next to Val. Yes, I'm living next to a fucking so is, homie. Wait, so is the Val homie in, of, of the of 40 the years, no, 30 no, no. years? Val's the one with the, with the, with the, the, the with the weed, with the, with the edibles <laughs> where Ron goes to the oh, hospital. Man. So, so are you going to do that again? <laughs> No, <laughs> uh, Val, Val quit that shit too. So, so if you guys watch the previous shows and you're dedicated to us, thank yeah. you so much. Watch the previous shows where Val, our friend, gives um Rollo Fucking some edibles. Val. Fucking Val. But Val said he's he he don't do that shit no more. So I ain't got to worry about that. But even if he offered it to me, I was like, nah, man. I so already know how you are. <laughs> how close are you to Val? Like my driveway touches his driveway. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> like I literally can like So can you can go, go, hi neighbor. Yeah. Can, can you do like that home improvement when yes. you go over the gate? <laughs> yeah, she's like right there. So it's pretty cool, man. I'm pretty pretty excited to be. Oh, that's you know, awesome. I'm just mostly excited to save some money because this rent bullshit is stupid. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for you. It's a good, nice yeah. little journey. Well, I can't wait for the barbecue you're gonna host and we mm-hmm. all be there. And especially KC. He can't wait to go do the two step in with the zap and Roger. <laughs> you know? It's going to be fun, man. It's been a good time. Summer's going to be fun. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm excited, man. I'm having a grandbaby You're on the closer. Way. You're closer yes, to I'm us. closer to you guys. You know we'd be hitting that pool this summer. Hey, I'm there. Because okay. I ain't got a pool. We don't got a pool in Hey, that come on over. We barbecue <laughs> every weekend. I, I've been trying to get Casey over to the pool since last summer. Yeah. You know, of, you know what? You know, lot... he didn't take me last summer and I was so upset. To every... the pool? Yes. I was so mad at him. Bro, we it's walking it. distance. You don't take Thank her to the you. pool. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, you know, every summer we'd go and we'd just sit there and drink. And I actually like the music. pool better than the beach. Fuck yeah. A hundred percent. You don't get sand in your ass. Unless you go to a beach house. You guys never went to the one you were invited, but you no, didn't go. because Casey told me last minute and he worked. He's a workaholic. But, but anyways, but pool, this year, the pool's yeah, good. Yeah, the pool. I mean. We got to go to the Corazon, pool this year. Corazon, we're going to live at the pool this year. Yeah. Whether you like it or not. Bro, okay. you don't have to go nowhere. You just got to walk. Bro, Ra- going to get a kiddie pool in the backyard. I <laughs> Soak your feet in. At this point, who we got sprinklers. <laughs> yeah. run through. Get a little slip and slide. Go in the backyard. Hey, right? You don't think I will? <laughs> you know, t- a little soap. Get you don't the think girls I will? going in I there. <laughs> you know what? But you gotta get a you gotta get a stripper pole. That's pretty cool. A stripper pole, or you need to get a dog. I've actually had that before too with some other roommates. Oh. The uh, he, uh, the other man, I got so many stories. Roommates like man. <laughs> you know what? Sergio has a couple stories. Tell us about I got some bad stories. Of let me tell Not everybody you because you live with me. Hold on, let yeah. me tell everybody before we go to this. Um, Casey has had ever used to have a bachelor pad here. He used to have all of you guys because there's a bunch of you guys as brothers. Uh. He used to have everybody live with him, and he has because he has a big kind. We've heart. been friends forever. For yes, his beyond ever. high school, yeah. So Casey has loved to have all his brothers live with them at one time or another, right? He has stories galore. So was I, I a like, good roommate or a bad roommate? The though? best one. Thank oh, you. Best oh, one. wait best till one. Val hears, hears that because Val. Val's good. Val's good one. Val's a good one. Okay, it, Val, Val, you're a good one. <laughs> Until a couple occasions where oh, we, we can't say what happened. <laughs> Val so tell, one us, about. tell us a story about one of your brothers. What happened? Okay. You had a good one. No names. But okay, no oh, names. Fuck no. We're so, if in the middle of the night you smell smoke, oh, and smoke. Wait, like fire smoke or weed smoke? Fire smoke. smoke. Fire smoke. Fire like, like ring, fire. ring, ring, like fire alarm. Fire I never heard the story. Fire smoke. You, yes, you have. Wait. Listen, and, listen. And okay. and one of your brothers is um, <laughs> a little intoxicated. I love this story. <laughs> and decides to start making. Um, Potatoes on a paper plate on, on the stove. On the stove. <laughs> oh, I don't, oh, you heard that one, fool. And the paper plate's on fire. These wait, these potatoes oh, are wait. cooking. Let me stop, let me stop and, you right there, really quick. You're telling me that this dude had a paper plate. Yeah, paper plate. Paper plate on a fire stove, and he's on cooking, top of my stove, and he's cooking potatoes. potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> you know who it is. No names. No names. That's How fucked story. up do you got to be to do that? Uh, How fucked, fucked up, up do you got to be? You got to be really hungry to do that. <laughs> I know someone that was so high that stuck his head in, into the fridge. Oh, <laughs> another time? <laughs> kind of thirsty, wake up yeah. in the middle of the night, want to get a little water, you know, drinking all night. Yeah. Well, you're parched. Parched. <laughs> a little parched. And then uh, uh, your friend's already asleep with his head in the fridge. Yeah. yeah. This was probably in the... Early 30s? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not 1930s, but... Wait, I have a story, right, about, I have a story about one of your friends, oh, too. Norman has a story. What? One of your we're friends... We're putting our fucking I would always, business out there right now. No, Shit. He, I would bring my friends here and there, That's right? how crazy it was in our house. When yes. We were, I wish we, we had cameras. Bachelors. Yes. When me and Casey were just, you know, a thing. But one of my friends was around, and your one of your brothers was behind her, and he was going like this, humping behind her. He oh, thought, your what? balls in your mouth, your balls, my balls in your mouth, remember? <laughs> and my friend was just looking at him, but he was so fucking drunk. I And can I tell you people that this will never come out, but I have video of everything that has happened oh, with these God. brothers, because I was like TMZ, and <laughs> I will look back and sometimes send it to them, and it's fucking hilarious. You have documentation of I all have that. Shit. Or, do- wait, wait, when I say... Lollipop. Does anyone remember Lollipop? 
Lollipop. 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 Who walked in swinging their lollipop? Oh, God. <gasps> So one of the brothers were all hanging out on a Sunday with music, right? Barbecuing like normal normally we would do. And one of the brothers runs down, walks out. He was living with him at the time, Casey. He's walking down the hall completely mm-hmm. naked and his jingle bells is just like this. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, look, what the it fuck like is he lollipop. doing? But I'm like, I was in fucking shock. That's and he's a- just, you guys are standing there like let nothing. Me, let me ask. Uh, and you know who you are. You, who, why in the right why who does that dude like why did that happen he didn't give a fuck but, but how i faded, was in shock how, we because did drink it, a lot we, we drank a lot the night back before and he days, woke up and drinking no again. but we were this still back drinking in the day, on though. sunday this is back in the day but we used to get fucking hammered dude. on like, sundays yeah. especially remember old school sundays oh old school my sundays god was basically, the was basically sunday get fucked up all sunday from like eight in the morning to like dude, we would five. Start, yeah we would wake up and get fucking do hammered. do you remember the worm Oh God! Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I have video the worm. <laughs> but anyways, I'm sure a lot of people can relate to like when you were younger, and if yeah, and if you are younger, you're like, oh, we just did that yesterday. You will look back one day and laugh and tell a story on a podcast like this. <laughs> this is why Casey's and his brothers are tight. Um, we have so many stories of them and their comedy or them living with him. He has yeah. so many stories. What other stories? Yeah, I know you got better stories. And then now you him. came in and fucked it all up, and fucking now there's no more bachelor. Oh, I have another story. <laughs> shit up i made things better motherfucker damn i have a story <laughs> yes <laughs> what um we were all hanging out in front of the garage kicking it and um out of the blue we see one of the homies running towards the house full sprint like oh, he's motherfucking she's gonna run him in over. a track meet <laughs> uh, and i'm like why that. is he running towards us like a motherfucking like he's on a track meet oh man and, ex- and then i see a fucking car a, his ex a, a, in a Cadillac? Chasing them in the car. Chasing them. Trying to what? run them down. Freaking wheels gra- squealing. Gra- grass, fucking, grass yeah, on the ground. She's like there. yelling his name and she's about to run his ass over in her fucking and he, Cadillac And he rolls by us. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? And sure enough, this car's trying to mow him down. Yep. Dude, you know what's funny? is like, these stories are so relatable. I'm telling you, people are watching this and probably... They probably going, man, that happened to the homie this or that happened to the homie this. Yeah. So when you watch this, yeah. give us some stories. Yeah, give us some stories, man. <laughs> I never had roommates um, at all, but yeah. I, I know Roommates that, do suck, though. It's better to be on your own, but in this time- You know what it. kind of roommates I had? Hmm. My siblings, and they fucking suck. Yeah, does They suck. fucking <laughs> suck. And let me tell you, as I got older and I had to live to, with my mom for like a temporary second- it was awful. And I'm like, oh my God, how, if they would have not been related to me, I don't think I would be talking to them, right. but I love them to death because they're my blood, right. but it's so hard to relive with your siblings right. as they get adults. Right. Um, I can't. And I, my kids is different, but they are my roommates. Right. Yeah. I call them my roommates. Um, it, it's hard. Yeah. I mean, I love Casey's my roommate and, and my partner and, and, and well, my here's fiance. the thing though. I was just going to say that though. It's it, it's actually you think roommates are hard, but when you get living a, with a couple, that's the hardest thing ever, right? In the you, beginning, in the beginning, when you, you start have, figuring shit yeah, out, yeah, yeah, you, like, gotta, you, you think gotta a roommate's learn. bad when you're sleeping butt to butt, <laughs> and you're supposed to you're be share, with them. You're like, sharing the bathroom. You're sharing the closet. You're sharing. You gotta learn to live. You with start them. hearing noises. You're like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I'm saying to her just yeah. about me, like no, vice versa. Yes, you, you hear noises and you hear. I'm like, and you're like, oh, yeah. you okay in there? Yeah, you Dude, okay? I'm probably gonna go to you guys to like when I do meet the one because it's been so long where I have no idea, like even like. Like if she would sleep over, I don't remember how to do none of that shit no more, dude. I'm so stuck in my ways. Like if I meet a girl and I get married, I'm like, what the fuck? Because I need to figure out. So you guys will be the ones I go to to ask for some advice. But you know what? It's you're, been so long. No, but you're a good man and you don't get turned off if you hear. <laughs> <laughs> That's the least like, of my worries. Because yeah, like, be like, <laughs> I'm a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little OCD. So I'm oh, a little, like. Lord. I'm kind of like. Like he the, hates my OCD. He hates my OCD, but, but I'm trying. I've gotten better. Casey's a, a clean freak too, though. Is he not? I'm pretty clean. <laughs> well, when I was living with <laughs> him, he was. No, no, no. When I was living with you, you were, we were always like. He had no choice. Yeah. But now he's just like. The wife will do it. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. The wife takes That's care so of the house. Wrong to say. <laughs> no, no. He's a clean freak to an extent. Yeah. But now that I'm around, I, it's like, oh, she, she's there. She, she you know. 
Yeah, I get and it. that's okay because that I that's my job, right? Yeah. That's my job because he's my man yeah. and he's my king, and I get it. I get I take care of that, right? Um, do yeah. you feel Do you feel so much better now that with the ring on and doing the stuff that now you're like, okay, now I now it's a uh, no, because I've been doing it. Right. But, we just got to get to that second step. But now does it feel? Valid? I'm still in shock. Slow down. We just got one step. <laughs> no, we got to go. We we still got. No, but I'm saying, does it feel more, more like? I don't want to like turn it to a bad thing. Do you know that your friend takes a long time to do things? We all do. I already no. know. No. I'm very calculated. Oh, you, you got fucking see, beyond hold on, calculated. No, now it's gonna go to a different subject because here's here's the thing. I, I was telling this to my my dad and his wife. I said, man. Men take, we have to make sure our, all our ducks in the row. Yep. Women don't understand that. They just think, who gives a fuck? Just fucking let's do it. It's like, no. we got to figure out, We have, you know, with this got to be done, especially when there's blended families and all, there's all this other shit and we're and older. It, yeah, and it's just not, you got buy, buy a nice expensive ring. It's, did I take care of everything else that, that not that matters, not doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Right. But. Are our kids okay? Is yeah. everything else but paid they off? Don't, is, no offense, Norma, but women don't fucking understand that, dude. They really don't. They say they do, but they're like, who gives a fuck? But Just you know what? Let's do you it. gotta understand. I was married before. I know. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. You're still you still a woman. What? Said, <laughs> no, it does it does matter, but what? I'm like yeah. sitting here like, okay, what the length of time that I waited, that was a little extreme. But even I also his kinda, family have mm. done a lot in between. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I don't need to start Look, I have Showing no, receipts. nothing but okay, respect. Okay, okay, okay. We're not going to go there. Nothing 100%, but 100%, I get women, it. But I, got, I, I get it. Yes. Yes. You're going to put us in an argument, but. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah. No, we're not. Ah, shit. Look, we're not. Anyway. But look, we're here. We got it. We're there. We're going to, we're, you know, we got to get good. to the next step. Right. Well, yeah, it's already done. Sign it better deal. not be another fucking year and a half because I'm going to be pissed, but we'll get there. Oh. We gotta get a date now. Yes, and we gotta put a date, and that's where I we're wanna, gonna work. I want to go a destination. Let's do that. That's what we're, I'm hoping for. Because I want to do because me and Casey, we travel the same. We have the same needs. Yes. You know. Me, yes. So it's probably gonna be that because it's like <laughs> I don't want to do a big wedding. I know we're like changing everything, but I'm not gonna do a big ass wedding. No, we're not for people to complain about food. Thank you, love. Or yeah, oh my god, this wasn't bro. that. If you fucking. Love us. You would follow We're going to tell you where we're going to go. Yes. When are we going to do it? Thank Plenty you. Plenty of time to save. Thank you. And go. Thank and you. And you know what? The Probably the only ones that are going to go are the ones that we actually see right. day to day or week to right. week or yeah. no longer than a month. Well, I feel like I'm like, right? the, I feel like I'm the step kid. Though, it's not going to be my, my <laughs> tia yeah. that I see like every only on Christmas. She's not going right. to come to where we go. Right. right? Yeah. So why am I going to pay, honestly, for... All this stuff that we can enjoy it in a destination. Yeah. So I let me tell you something. My dream with him would have just been me, the kids, and my grandbaby, right? Somewhere just destination. Right. At the end of the day, no, we I'm, will I'm like, tag along still. We will extend the invite. <laughs> we will extend the invite to whoever would like to come and can afford to come. We will give everybody enough time. Right. But I just literally want to do it on a beautiful beach, nothing costly, and a dinner and just everybody. And relax. you know what? Enough time that everyone can plan their own vacation it's not going to be just about our wedding yes it's going to be our wedding but yeah. then it's like you have a vacation yes right like i don't need to see you the yes. whole five days we're yeah. out there or whatever yes. it's like we're there and then you can do whatever the fuck you want yes. in a nice you know why i trust your man because if i travel with him i know he just wants to go to that point A to point B, and that's it. And that's right? what I want to yeah, do, though. Yeah. But you know what? All inclusive. All inclusive. But that we is what I want to do. Gotta go this fucking, nowhere. Oh, let's take a taxi five hours no. over here. It's already here. Oh, Where? Go. Fuck that, that shit, That is exactly dude. what I want to do. So yeah. I'm not doing this big when people are probably expecting. No, we can still party. We can still have the music, but just in a smaller environment, right? <laughs> but anyway, the, everything twisted and went everywhere. Um, it, it, you know... It is what it is, but yeah, really, we, had a, we had a couple of conversations in this podcast. It was like eight conversations, eight conversations, but that's what we do, <laughs> what you we know, do. but you know, as our friendships are going everywhere, like you're growing, you're moving in with your other friend. Homie. Some of the brothers are you still, said, you make it sound like it's the homie. I mean, it's I not apologize. It's girl or nothing like that. No, no, no. It's, <laughs> it's one the of the homie. homies. I yeah. apologize. Yes. One of the homies you're moving in with, which yeah. congratulations on that. Yeah, yeah, we have a, the other nice homies house. are still. No, nah, yeah. I don't have <laughs> Give us social. Give us phone number. <laughs> yeah, they're both um, single, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think he is. So that's yeah. why it's gonna be a fun time. We're gonna have fun. Yeah, they're gonna house. have fun. They're gonna enjoy themselves. They're Two still old young. Dudes fucking 
partying They're till fucking old. 8 o'clock. They're not women. We got two bachelors on. So, Corazon, are you going to have a problem if I, hey, Raw, hey, yeah. invites me over go ahead, Friday babe. night? Go, babe. I told him, go. You're closer. Go, bye. I'm what? Got- you she know what? I got a feeling like, she's gonna be looking she, over no, the fence she, on Val's no. house. She got eyes everywhere, bro. Yeah. Let me Women just says, tell you something. Ahead. They got eyes everywhere, no, dude. Let me tell you something. The other everywhere. day, I was sitting at my vanity. The lights were on. It was like six thirty. Where are you going? Are you going somewhere? Are you getting ready? I go, <sighs> I'm like, no. He goes, you are, huh? I go, no. He goes, it's okay. I already put a ring on it. He walks away. I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. He goes, that's well, good. He goes, that's good. well, if you are, it doesn't matter. I'm like, but if I was, I would have told him, right? But we've always had since. The beginning. We've mm. always had that. You can go wherever you want. It's okay. Yeah. And I. it's vice versa, which I love because it's that trust and love we right, have right. for each other. Yeah. Right? Um, he knows he can go wherever he wants. Vice versa. It's, it's, so they say. Let's, so we'll see. Have Let's I put always, it to the test. Have I, always, have I ever <laughs> been that way with you, corazón? No, love. Have I? No, cor- no you, corazón. No, corazón. He's, he's <laughs> corazón. You guys are so corny, dude. <laughs> no, just. I love it, though. Wow. I'm kidding. Anyways, are we wrapping this up? Or we... Yes, we're wrapping it up. That was a good anyway, one. Anyway, well, thanks for joining us, KC. So much fun. I love you, corazón. My favorite. Ah, I love you, corazón. Ah, here we go. Anyway. Raul, congratulations. Thank you. And to the brothers, <laughs> man, those stories, we got plenty more. If you want to hear more, let us know because we got a lot oh, more funky lot stuff. More. Anybody out there, figure out who that was. Oh, that we and talked you know about. what? We got stories because... He, KC held a lot of bachelor parties in here. And let me tell you, strippers yeah. after strippers after strippers. Or it's the blue light or purple yeah, light. Yeah, that shit was Ugh. nasty. That's what I <laughs> came Norma in. repainted the house like five times. Five times. <laughs> furniture, brand new furniture. Ugh. I remodeled that shit. But stay Ew-wee. tuned every Wednesday. Bye. Peace out. Peace. The hottest podcast on the internet.